I know it was a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't been able to get up any reviews for a little while because I have da -da -da, a lot of work to do that's piled on my bed. As I have my exams coming up on Tuesday, which is very nice for me. And I am going, as I even though I saw it a couple of weeks ago, I'm going to do a review of The Men Who Stare at Goats, starring George Clooney, uh, Ewan McGregor, Jeff Bridges, Kevin Spacey, and the likes of others. And it's about Lynn Cassidy, who is a, a psychic spy, a Jedi spy, who um, was made by the army to do whatever was needed done, whatever they needed done, basically. And then Ewan McGregor's come character comes in now. I can't even remember the characters' names half the time, because I saw this weeks ago. And um, yeah, he comes in and he's interviewed one of the psychic spies before, and then his wife dumps him. He breaks up, has a divorce, and then to prove to himself that he's not a coward, he can come over this divorce. He goes to Iraq to try and get a good story, and he basically, as it says in the trailer, finds an adventure when he finds Lynn Cassidy, and Lynn Cassidy has been reactivated to go back on a mission to find Jeff Bridges, who was his mentor, who was then corrupted by Kevin Spacey. Both of them were. So I won't give any more of the story, because I'll kind of spoil it. But in general, I enjoyed The Men Who Stare at Goats. It was a funny, fun movie. It was not... If it was trying to be any sort of a political satire or anything like that, then it completely failed, because it didn't really do anything for me um, on that level. If that's what you're looking for, then be disappointed. But it is a fairly funny film, even though it could have been potentially great. It's A lot of my friends at school have said, oh, I really want to see The Men Who Stare at Goats, and I'm going, have you seen The Burn After Reading? Because it's a film like that. And they say, what's that? It's it's more of a darkly adult comedy, which is more, which can appeal to teenagers like myself and other people. <coughs> Sorry. And that's generally the drift. It's a very dark comedy, but I like dark comedies. I'm really looking forward to A Serious Man, which is the new Coen Brothers film. And um, it is pretty damn funny in parts. There's parts of uh, real slapstick humour, and it's uh, got some startlingly good performances from Jeff Bridges in particular, who, if any of you know who the dude is out the Big Lebowski, it's him doing that role all over again, and it's a delight to see. So is Kevin Spacey. Even though he comes later on in the film, he's really funny in this. I mean, I was laughing my ass off at some parts of this film. Um, but Ewan McGregor wasn't that good. He brung nothing new to his role. It's nothing I haven't seen Ewan McGregor done before. I'm not the biggest fan of Ewan McGregor, to be honest. I do love his Long Way Round, uh, a Long Way Down series that is in TV going with Charlie Borman, but that's not a Mac, that's him being himself. But, and also George Clooney was really funny in this as well, but he didn't give starting a good performance. It was more just odd seeing him with a moustache, to be honest. Also, the jokes are really predictable. You see them coming around the corner. You know what you're to expect. Which takes off from the momentum of the film and the big surprise of some of the jokes, because, oh no, he's about to hit him in the face, and this is supposed to endure laughter. Ha! <laughs> but nothing else. That's It's... it's fairly odd why it couldn't come up with even fresher, non-predictable storyline, which is a bit of a disappointment, but the ending makes up for it, believe me, the ending's pretty damn funny. Um, but good performances, and generally going at a great pace with some cracking jokes coming along, even though predictable and not horrendously funny, I mean, I wasn't laughing like I would at National Lampoon's Animal House, which got me crying on the floor, basically. But for The Men Who Stare at Goats, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's not great, but it had potential to be. That's the annoying part. But it is a great film in general. I do recommend it that you go see it, because you will have a good time, but just don't expect to be laughing all the way down to the stairs and not being able to get back up. Don't expect that. But it is an enjoyable movie. So, there you go.